So, working on my reload, I made quite a few little observations. First and foremost, you're not going to hit every time. If you hit your reload every time, you're going too damn slow. You should miss a minimum of a third of the time if you're pushing to get better. If you're just solidifying your skill, getting used to the mag going in the gun, then it's fine to sit there and practice. The other thing is, I don't like bouncing all my mags off the ground, so I usually try to get something for them to land on. I'm doing static, I practice either over a bed, um, over a big beanbag chair or something, so I don't just beat the hell out of the mags, because I usually have a handful of rounds at the bottom of the mags, and a few dummy rounds on top of that. So, when you're dry firing with your, with your gun, I find it most important to me, because I always practice hitting the magazine release, because I did fall into that trap earlier in shooting, practice, and not get the gun enough, turn quite enough, and be standing there in a match with a magazine here, looking and wondering whether, why your other magazine hasn't come out. So always practice a few of them, beginning and end, with a mag in the gun to come out. But you should be speeding up, working better speed, missing a few of them here and there, working on getting back on the target, your presentation, making sure your grip's solid going back in. And then next, making sure we work more than our first mag. That was an early mistake I made shooting. Just work the first mag over and over and over. And then the second and third and fourth mag is totally screwed up. I've also been reviewing newer gear, newer techniques out there. I noticed that Ben, mainly just Ben, and a few other shooters that are getting pretty good and fairly well known, I've started working their magazines out. Ben's always done that. From the time that I saw him on a range, he didn't come up like most shooters, didn't know the right way, I guess. Um, when I say the right way, I have to harass him a little bit, but the thing about the magazine where it is for me is if I turn that magazine so it's facing outward, I'm gonna bring my hand down here. That seems to work great for him and for a few others. For me, just that twist of my wrist stretches my shoulder more. So being able to reach like this allows me a lot better motion around, not to mention years of training, practice, etc. of not having the gear to be able to go the other way. Now if I was up here, up in front with my mags more, I don't have a doubt that I would be shooting just exactly the way Ben does. But reaching the way I am with my size, meaning my spare tire around the middle, and the flexibility of my shoulders, it doesn't really work for me. I have a firm grasp on the way I've been reloading, so I'm probably gonna keep that up and not change for now. But making sure that mag is in, it's seated good every time, indexing your hands, and rolling that grip right back out to where it was. Just like the last part of my draw, reload should be the same. As soon as I finish presenting to that last target, as the second shot breaks and I watch the sights lift, I start going for that reload. It's something that should happen automatically and immediately, especially if you're shooting a low round count division. Uh, production or single stack where you're going to be reloading a lot. Those reloads, a couple of tenths add up real quick. So work your reloads hard and fast. Smooth them out. Make sure you're hitting every time towards the end. Don't be afraid to screw up because great quote that I saw the other day, the master has made more, has screwed up more than the beginner has tried. Paraphrasing a little bit. I very much feel that you have to push yourself to the point of error in order to improve. Next week, I'm going to be working on a lot of movement drills, in position, out of position. I really can't wait for that because this stand and shoot stuff is boring as hell. That's why I've never been a great classifier shooter. I've always been much preferred shooting matches and stages with a lot of movement and position entry. They're fast and they're fun. Uh, any questions, feel free to post them below, comments, etc. Thanks and I hope you come back for the next episode.